So, it's been a month since my last video. Since then, I've bought a new mic, gotten a new desk again, grinded Minecraft progressive servers and Deep Rock Galactic, and watched so much YouTube and Twitch over the past two years, I've listened to content creators more than I've listened to real life people, apart from my family. But today, I will be telling you why exactly I've decided to continue NoFab after November. And it starts with I Am Lucid, an amazing content creator I discovered sometime in the past two years who makes supportive and informative content about NoFab and many other relevant topics. Behind me are your thoughts, they're your desires, they're your habits. And this right here is the elephant in the room. You never wanted to look at this or tackle it or even touch it because look how prickly this thing is, dude. This is your addiction. You use these applications on a daily basis that are driven by algorithms that know that to keep you on the app longer, we're gonna show you the most inattainable, impossible, most beautiful, sexy girls that we can ever show you so that you can look at these girls, want to be like them, purchase more products, become a consumer, and hit yourself. Why? Because it makes more money. As I've watched his videos over the months, and especially as November 2021 drew nearer, I've been thinking about it, and I've made the decision to continue because I would like to see if and how my life changes. I've never considered it before, because I've never had issues with porn in the past, but you never know until you try it, and I knew I was already going to do No Not November this year, so I thought, fuck it, why not continue? I've heard people, including Lucid, say their lives have improved, and self-awareness and self-serving thoughts came to them, but also how hard it is to quit when there's infinite, free, unrestricted access to it. Lucid has actually made a video explaining the downsides to NoFap that people can experience after 90 days or sometime around there, which are called flatlines. I told you that NoFap changed my life for the better, which it did. NoFap did a lot bad to me as well, and there's a lot of downsides or the dark sides of NoFap. So the goal of this endeavor of mine is to see what my experience will be like, because so far, 30 days in, I found it to be ridiculously easy. Last November, I actually did fail on the 15th and the 16th after making it that far super easily, and I finished off the month super easily too. I only failed because I still watched porn occasionally, and that just made it a lot harder in those few moments day to day where your thoughts return to those old habits. This time, I didn't make that mistake, and this month was literally over before I knew it. This whole month felt like the time spent between watching porn daily when you're doing it regularly, you know? So because it has been super easy so far, I don't know whether the rest of my experience will be the same as for Lucid or others or completely different. So for this experiment I'm doing for myself, I will continue NoFap for the entire time between November 2021 and November 2022 and then see where I am, where this leaves me, and whether or not to continue past that. So including No Not Novembers for this year and next year, that will be 13 months of NoFap, which is 395 days. And I feel like by then I will be able to accurately tell whether it has been worth it, if I want to continue, and if I even want or care about going back to how it was, or if I gain no real benefits and I want to return to how it was and revive that nostalgia and those old happy memories. I also found this NoFap benefits list timeline kind of thing for different stages in early NoFap, and I will be giving you updates on these as well as the flatline mentioned in I Am Lucid's video. Not saying that this timeline is accurate, I just thought it'd be nice to have some kind of meter to like how it's going. I Am Lucid's channel and that video I mentioned are in the description by the way, and I strongly suggest you watch his content, whether or not you are planning on starting NoFap, whether you're in NoFap, or if you don't care for it at all. I guarantee that there is some video he has made that can benefit you or at least get you to think about something important. I say this because I don't intend to give advice because my experience with porn and the Novembers have been so much different from everyone else I've heard of that my perspective probably wouldn't be much help to anyone. Go watch someone else. So, for the first update, after 30 days NoFap and an easy, successful No Nut November, I've passed these first two levels. So for 1.6, less brain frog. What the fuck is that? Um, oh yeah, I get that occasionally, like, you know, after doing homework for too long or after a long days of work, but that's just normal, right? I mean, I'm sure everyone gets brain fog regularly depending on what they do and the time of day. I don't think that changed for me. 
There are times when my brain is foggier than usual at least every day, you know? If anything, even more so now that I'm working for so many long hours. Decrease in shame. I don't know whether they mean shame in general or shame regarding porn, but I've never really had an unhealthy amount of shame regarding myself or my actions. Just, you know, a nice healthy bit to keep myself in check, you know? I feel like that's normal. Now for days 7 to 30, they mention flat lines, but I think it's too soon to comment on that. Lucid only got flat lines after 200 days no fab, so I'll wait until at least probably around day 100 for that. More energy. If anything, I have less energy because of working all day, but for a day off, I don't really notice a difference, to be honest. Testosterone spike? Don't exactly know how to quantify that. More confidence? No. Higher resistance to illness? The last time I was sick, I had a runny nose for four days in the spring of 2018, so I really have no way to judge that. Androgen, I don't know what the fuck that is. Higher enjoyment in life, I am just as unsatisfied with my life as I was before. More self-esteem, no. More interaction with women, <laughs> no. And ignoring this list of benefits, I don't really feel any different. As I said, this last month just feels like the time spent between masturbating when I did it regularly. So that is it, and the next update will be on January 1st, so after 61 days. Now obviously, I haven't been making much content, and that is because I work all day on four days, and my parents never leave the house during my days off. So gaming videos are pretty much impossible to make, but little discussion videos like this one, I can make at any time, so for the time being, my channel will be weekly videos of these. It's not the same, but at least it's content. As such, this is now the time to blow the fuck out of my Discord server. Any questions you have about anything or discussion topics you want to see, go to my Discord server, put them in the Q&A or suggestions chat, respectively. If not, you can put them in the comments, but the Discord is better. I will be generating videos myself most of the time, but if you want to have a bit of an opinion, feel free to do that. Also, I would like to thank all the people that kept subscribing to my channel even without new videos being posted for the last month. It is people like you that help grow channels like mine. Now everybody, have a nice day, and I'll see you next week.